you again? I thought I was clear. I will not talk to you if little Red Riding Hood is not with you. Not a problem. Siana can take her place. What? Very well. It's not as if I can forbid you. <laughs> Grand hotel. Come closer, sweetie. But Grandmama, what big eyes you have. The better to see you with my dear. Granny, what big arms you have. The better to embrace you with, my dear. And Grandmama, what big teeth you have. Eh? The better to eat you with, my dear. set about the red bean. A human has it, and he definitely didn't swallow it. Mm-hmm. Gotta open his belly. Bottle caps, fake teeth, a corkscrew. Ah, here it is. Red bean. Ah, at last we have them all. What? Now I find myself wondering if you're just horribly discreet, or if those mutations completely scrubbed away your curiosity. Are you really not interested in what happened? In what became of me after they cast me out? Well, since you brought it up, I'd gladly hear the rest. Let's see. They had escorted you out of the duchy. Yes. And the noble knights of Toussaint and I didn't stop until we reached the Ketdu wilderness. They left me there alone, without a copper, in a torn lace dress, right when the frosts were setting in. They assumed something would eat me, or that I'd do everyone a favor and die of hunger. But as always, I failed to live up to expectations. I wandered the woods for a week, went purple from the cold, gnawed the bark, from twigs. Finally, I saw a light among the trees. A campsite. They were bandits, bearded, drunk, spattered with blood. I was sure they'd rape me or kill me. Or both. Take it neither happened? That's when I learned a robber and a murderer can be a better man than a knight in shining armor. They took me in, we set off for Nazaire, and I did what I could to repay them. I advanced in their ranks rather quickly. Eventually, I became their leader. Of the whole ragged band. 